Hey, Lizette here from Tool Tester. Today, I'm super excited because we'll be going through a real life website and giving it a makeover. Steve, a freelance proofreader from Australia, asked to take a look at his site, The Proofreader Guy, for a few pointers on design, layout, and content. Steve also asked us how necessary it is to have a blog, so we'll also explain why this is especially important. Let's get started with the makeover. Okay, here is the current website, The Proofreader Guy. Steve's site is built on WordPress and it features some key elements including an About Me section, a bit about what he does, and most importantly, a contact form. But what stands out right away is that most of the content is on a single page. So this is the first thing we'd suggest changing. To get found on Google, it's important to have different pages that are focused on a single concept and optimized for their own keywords. If you have all your information on one page, that's so much harder to do. So we'll share a few tips on how to structure the site a little better. Steve does also have a get started page, which is a key page on his site. This is where customers upload their documents and pay for Steve's services. We have a few suggestions on how to improve this particular page, but we'll cover them in just a minute. But first, let's talk about design. The site could benefit from a new design to make it look more modern and professional. Here's one huge advantage of having a WordPress site. If you want to change your site's design, it's fairly easy to switch to a new template. You don't need to rebuild your site from scratch. Although in this case, the site is small enough that it could be easily rebuilt on a platform like Wix or Squarespace, in case you're thinking about switching to another platform. Currently, Steve is using the Elementor Builder and the Astra theme. Now, let's switch to a new starter template. We've chosen this freelance copywriter template because it's similar to Steve's industry. But of course, you can choose any template you like. Now, let's see how the site would look if we rearrange things so that visitors could easily find what they're looking for. The homepage is likely to be the first page that visitors land on, so it should stress why someone might need proofreading and why they should choose your services. Here, visitors are likely to want information about the kind of work you do, and the types of clients you work with. They'll want to know if they fit this profile, so do your best to highlight how you could be a great match for them. A few client testimonials could also go a long way here to build credibility. But the main purpose of the homepage should be to direct visitors to other areas of your site. You can see how this homepage uses call to action buttons to get visitors to other pages. This is important because selling services is about taking buyers through a journey and resolving their doubts along the way. So here are the additional pages we think could help turn new visitors into clients. For any services business, a services page is super useful to visitors who want to know exactly how you can help them. Here, you could detail the different services you offer, the various steps involved in a project, and include some pricing information. There should also be a separate page for the About Me section, where you talk about your experience and list projects you've worked on. A link to your LinkedIn page or other professional profile can also build a sense of trustworthiness. It's a good idea to display your photo here too, as it helps to give you a more friendly, humanly touch. If you really want to expand on this, you could even create a separate portfolio page, which showcases examples of your work. In Steve's case, this could show a before and after of unedited content versus the final result. The contact form should be on its own page under contact. This would ideally include other contact details, such as email address, phone number, and office location, to give visitors alternative ways to contact you and also help them feel like they're dealing with a real person on the other end. We mentioned earlier some ideas to improve Steve's Get Started page. While we think it's fine as it is for someone who's familiar with the business and uses his services on a regular basis, it can be a little daunting to a new customer who's never worked with him before, especially if they're being asked to provide payment up front. Also, it opens up in a new tab and doesn't link back to the home page, which can be a little off-putting. So we'd recommend adding some frequently asked questions to help alleviate any concerns visitors might have. You could also offer an alternative call to action, for example, asking them to contact you if they want to request a quote or have any other questions. Lastly, make sure to keep your navigation menu available so visitors can easily get back to other areas of your site. Okay, 
Now we have a site that flows well, includes all the important information, and is looking so professional. But we need to think about how to get visitors to the site in the first place. In Steve's line of work, the best way to do that is through search engine optimization, or SEO. And that's where a blog comes in. On top of highlighting your expertise in the industry, a blog can also help boost your Google rankings in a few different ways. Every time you add new content to your site, you're sending a signal to Google that your site is up to date, which Google views favorably. What's more, each blog article can also help you target keywords that could potentially draw new visitors to your site. For example, if Steve wrote an article about the benefits of hiring a professional proofreader versus using proofreader software, he could target the keyword professional proofreader versus proofreading software and potentially get found when somebody searches that keyword in Google. You might also want to look into optimizing your site for people who search in your local area. For example, if Steve were located in Melbourne, he could optimize the site for the keywords proofreader Melbourne. Of course, SEO is a whole world unto itself, so to learn more, check out our SEO guide in the description below. Luckily for Steve, WordPress is built for blogging, so if you're using WordPress, you should have everything you need to kickstart your blogging strategy. We hope that's helped give you a few ideas for improving your website. Thanks to everyone for watching, hit like or subscribe if you'd like to see more, and see you next time.